I was taking a shower today and I was thinking about uh, the word mastery, right? So, uh, mastery, right? And uh, my, my daughter is in school right now and in the public uh, school system, uh, they use Common Core and they use a grading uh, metric. And the grading metric is, uh, is, is based on four, right? So four items and basically, uh, I apologize if this marker is not showing up. Uh, four items and basically the first level, uh, there's four levels, so the first level is uh, need of improvement, okay, or one. The second level is satisfactory, which is a two, so they'll put a two. And the third level is proficiency, okay, and the fourth level is mastery, right? And so, for example, let's just say you have a child, uh, like third grade or fourth grade, and they're learning multiplication, right? And so they'll say your child is a one, so need improvement. They don't know the multiplication. Or a two, uh, you know, the satisfactory, they kind of know it. Or three, the proficient, they know it enough to move on to the next level. Or four, they master uh, multiplication. Now, I personally don't like that way of measuring things. That's a very, um, I think, scholastic Western concept that is trying to segment things and, and, and make people feel good, but it's not holistic. So I'll explain to you today, there's a book from uh, George Leonard, and he's an Aikido math um, instructor, fifth degree, and he's also a writer and a Zen teacher. And there's a book called Mastery, and I suggest everyone read it. You can get it online, and um, you can also get a YouTube video talking about it. But for him, uh, there's basically, he defined mastery to like five concepts, but I'll, I'll synthesize it and paraphrase for you guys. Mastery basically is enjoying the journey to acquire the skill, the skill required. So for example, a mastery is not mastering a skill. Mastery is just enjoying the everyday task to get good at something. So um, if you want to get good at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or Judo or Karate, right? Don't think about getting good at a specific skill. Instead, get good at just going to the dojo, enjoying the camaraderie, enjoying the bowing, the talking to the instructor, enjoy um, saving money for the tuition, enjoy setting time, um, you know, two, the, two, two nights a week or three nights a week or five nights a week going to class. In other words, once everything becomes autopilot for you, and going to karate class and learning those skills, that's mastery. So in the Zen concept or Eastern concept, mastery is actually not acquiring skill, but being super comfortable, being super proficient in your journey to acquiring the skill. And that's the difference. So I was talking to Dave, um, we would have students or fighter who are really talented and uh, the minute they get injured or something going on in their personal life, they will stop training, like literally stop training, right? And for me, I feel that's a mistake. You know, like what they should have done was continue training or find time to not, to come to, instead of three classes a night, two classes a night, I mean, uh, two classes a week and keep on training and, and, be, and enjoy the journey. In other words, they have to figure ways to make all the component fit into the lifestyle so they can be good at karate or jiu-jitsu or MMA. You know, that's mastery. Um, so instead, they'll just quit. And then what happened is they'll come back and they'll train with me. And then within six months, they'll get ready for a fight or they want to fight. Now, the problem with that is that imagine they kept on training for six months prior to that six months. Their skill, uh, make sure you can see this if you want to zoom in. Let's just say the skills are here. Okay, and then when they're getting ready for a fight, all we have to do is make minor adjustment and their skill goes up a little bit more, right? So, so their skill goes up a little bit more. But instead, right, so there's six months here and six months here, right? But instead, they stop training. So in other words, um, they're like this, they dip down and then they come back up a little bit. And so they didn't master, the, the, uh, the, their skill didn't improve. As, um, it's hard for me to get them really good. And the reason why is because they stopped for six months, right? So I want you guys to basically rethink or redefine the word mastery, right? So mastery used in public school, I don't like it. I don't like the way it's being used, 
right? It's a very shallow concept. It's not holistic. So let's, um, I apologize. This is like, you know, I'm rambling. But mastery, in my personal opinion, is just basically getting your life, getting all the parts, all the moving parts in your life correctly so that you can go to class every day and you can absorb whatever your instructor or classmate give to you. And you are at peace in learning those skills, you know. And so it's really tough because what happens is people have ego. So they'll come to class and they'll say, I want to run an arm bar. I want to learn how to throw someone. Instead, I tell them, you need to figure out how to come to class and enjoy the class. Uh, you know, like some people, when they come, they complain. They're like, man, I just came from work. I'm exhausted. This is why I suck. And I look at them. I'm thinking, you know what? You're very shallow because I just came from work. I'm exhausted too, right? But I still come. I'm smiling. I'm having a good time. So uh, mas mastery, George Leonard. Okay? Look up the book. Super awesome. It's maybe 200 pages. And... Um, there's five key points, I think. You can go to my website, zrebel.com, and search for the word mastery, and I have the five key points. And basically the five key points, it, uh, I forget the five key points. I'm going to shoot a video talking about it. But basically mastery is being a student or being someone who enjoys the journey of learning that craft. Mastery is not mastering a specific skill or technique. And um, that's my whole point. And um, I don't know, maybe some educator will watch this video and might hate me for it because I did talk to a few teachers and they said, no, 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 that's a good definition. I say, well, that's a very shallow definition. You know what I mean? Because it, it, it makes someone think, okay, if I learn this arm bar, that's a mastery. If I, uh, if I learn how to do this throw, it's a mastery. Or in the kids, in, 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 from a school perspective, a child might learn a multiplication table and say, I mastered multiplication. No, what you want to do is make the child enjoy going to school, enjoy getting up in the morning, enjoy uh, you know, eating breakfast, enjoy studying for the test, enjoy getting on clothes and brushing his teeth. Like all the necessary components to be a great student so that he can learn whatever the teacher wants to teach him. That's